welcome back to another episode of Ebony in the Kitchen where I'm Ebony and I'm in my kitchen. This week we are going to start a new series, the Christmas edition. So this is going to be all things Christmassy. For the next three episodes we are going to be trying out a range of different Christmas hats. Today we are going to be making Kinder Surprise Hot Chocolate Cocoa Bombs. I'm really excited and I'm a bit hungry, so let's get into it. Today I look like a big candy cane. Isn't the resemblance astounding? This is the cute little hot chocolate that we're going to attempt to make today. It starts with some Kinder Surprise eggs. Everyone I keep talking to keeps saying that it's depressing because the toys inside of them kind of suck nowadays. <gasps> They're so shiny and like perfect. There's the milk chocolate on the outside and then on the inside and kind of how they're glued together is like a layer of white chocolate. Now the scary part. I have to somehow cut the layers apart without cracking the sides. I think this was really smart because people have to like temper their own chocolate when they're making cocoa bombs by themselves and then it's like getting the perfect consistency and the right thickness. This is already done for you. You just have to separate it and whack some hot chocolate in there and then shebang. Wish me luck. Trusty little knife. I think I'm just gonna try and like cut through it squid game style. I really don't want the sides to break. Wow, this is coming off easier than I thought. There we go. We have cracked into the first egg. I kind of want to know what the prize is. Oh my gosh, guys. I have a little ring. It actually is really cute. It's a little flower ring. I've got to go through that whole anxiety session again with this egg. So, see you in a sec. Now I have my four sides of chocolate egg separated. I think I'm just going to scoop a teaspoon of hot chocolate powder into each half. And if you are not making your own hot chocolate powder, it is so much cheaper and so easy and tastes like amazing. I'm just going to whack some of these little baby marshmallows in to her. I really want to pack them with marshmallows so when they melt, they open up and just explode with marshmallows. Oh, I really love this idea. It's just so easy. And if you're a parent, this would be such a fun thing to do with your kid. So you just stick this onto a hot pan and kind of swizzle it around until it's melty and then you can just glue the chocolates back together. Hopefully, we'll have some chocolate cacao. Balls. Balls? Bombs. This is stressful. I'm just heating up my pan. I want to try and stick these candy canes through the top. So you can use them as little stirs and then you'll have like a little pepperminty flavor. So I might unwrap these while I'm waiting for my pan to heat up. That's why I don't like eating candy canes. One, they can't taste gross and just like pure sugar. And two, they're really annoying to unwrap. We're just going to put this onto the pan, get it nice and melted, take it off and stick it on top. Smush it together a little bit. I think the key is not to put too much pressure, otherwise they will crack. Because Kinder is a very like thin, snappy, tempered chocolate. Now we have both of our eggs all sealed up. I'm just going to take a piping tip, heat it up on top of the pan the same way that I did with the chocolate, and then sit it on top and try and cut a little hole out. I can stick a little candy cane in to spin it around. Candy cane's a bit big for that hole. Do a smaller hole. Find something that is candy cane size before melting chocolate. I'll try with this. It's a bit of a smaller size tip. It's a bit more like the candy cane. Okay, this one, the candy cane went in, but I'm scared it's gonna break. I'm gonna warm up some milk and then we can stick them in and see what happens. And I'm gonna pop them in the microwave for a minute or two to heat up. So they're nice and hot. So when we put in the chocolate, it will all melt. Microwave intermission. <laughs> While the microwave is having a minute, if you haven't liked or subscribed, it takes two seconds to click the button. I highly suggest you do so that you can see more wonderful videos like this one. Our milk is nice and hot. I think it's time that we put in our hot cocoa buns and see what happens. I'm gonna pop in the one with the candy cane attached. Here's our hot chocolate. Pop straight open and there's all the marshmallows. I love that. I love that you use this candy cane as a stirrer. It's the best. Really in like two seconds, you have this incredible hot chocolate with like actual chocolate and cocoa and peppermint sticks and marshmallows and all this glee. This just looks like a fun time. It looks like I'm about to watch Elf on the couch with all the family around, some candles lit. Mm. The lady in the video does pop in like a cinnamon stick and some star anise, so it looks a bit more festive. I have some star anise, I might pop some in. And I think this is one of the most festive hot chocolates I've ever had. And there we have our beautiful 
Kinder Surprise Hot Chocolate. All right, let's taste test this wonderful Kinder Surprise. Mm. This is delicious. If you had soul in a cup, this would be it. Sweetness from the marshmallow like straight away. So it's like, mm, delish. Then you get this really decadent cho hot chocolate flavor. And on top of that, there's like this little peppermint flavor at the back. I really love the idea of using candy canes as stirring sticks because they do add flavor into the hot chocolate and it's not just like sweet, sweet, sweet. It has this like nice freshness to it as well. So freaking good. I could sit here all day and sip on this, but I'm probably sure that you're sick of listening to me ramble about how good hot chocolate is. So make sure to like and subscribe and comment another hot chocolate recipe that I should try out this Christmas holidays. And I will see you in the next viral recipe. Have a good day.